Hi everyone, it's Dr. Elisha Van Dusen at New Hope Chiropractic. Today I'm going to go over a couple things you can do to maintain the health of your brain and also prevent memory loss. So, hmm, I just forgot what I was talking about. No, I'm just kidding. But anyway, these are 12 easy things you can do to prevent memory loss. Number one, read a book on a topic you're unfamiliar with or um, shop at a new grocery store, new place, new location. It helps also with your sense of direction. Number three, drive a different route to work and it also helps with your sense of direction and uh, memory for, for places. Uh, go swimming. Um, it's good cardiovascular exercise and gets your body moving and, and helps uh, improve blood flow to the brain. Uh, or take a daily walk. That's also another good way to um, get some exercise, improve, improve blood flow without putting a lot of pressure in your joints. Try a new recipe. Trying a new recipe is good for um, procedural memory. Um, following different steps and uh, trying to remember them and um, keeping on track with sequences. Um, that will really, really help your memory as well. Um, number seven, play games that require strategy. Uh, really helps your cognitive ability and reasoning ability. Uh, like chess, for example, chess is a good game to play. Eight, have coffee with a friend. It helps uh, stimulate mental activity and conversational skills and also um, a memory of what you've talked uh, about with that friend. Number nine, use a paper map to find your destination. Uh, so many times today we use um, a GPS system and basically I check our brains at the door and don't really think about where we're going and uh, what route we're taking. So um, using a, a, a paper map, the old fashioned way, using a Thomas guide, for example, really helps with um, making those synapses fire and uh, helps you to remember where you've been and where you're going. Number 10, take a class to learn a new skill, learn a new language, learn how to um, uh, do a new procedure of some sort, a uh, cooking class or a uh, class on uh, wood job or carpentry, something to get out of your comfort zone and learn something new, build new bridges in your mind. Number 11, try a new restaurant out, outside your normal fare or um, the normal places you tend to go so that also broadens your, your horizons and um, your knowledge to of different cultures number 12 challenge your grandchildren to your spelling bee if you're if you're older and you have grandchildren uh, or also do crossword puzzles or sudoku puzzles all these things help uh, work out your mind and keep it active and thereby keep it young so that uh, you don't um, suffer a decline in cognitive ability and also um, short-term and long-term memory. So I hope this helps and I uh, hope you uh, go out and uh, try to do at least one of these things today and uh, your, your brain will thank you for it. And with that, I hope you have a healthy day. Bye-bye.